pretty good. This is um wires hook it up, they're in here. Yeah. You know, it's got the cushion padding. Right. And um you hook it up, you know, you turn it on, that's where you hook up your volume yeah. your headset and put on your head. But I mean it's pretty simple. I mean they got a video on YouTube that shows you how to do it. Well, I, I know how to hook it hook it all up. I was oh, okay. just wondering if you had all the cables for it. Yeah, yeah, they're all. I even put an extra HDMI in there for you. The okay, camera's cool. right there. You know, video game. Everything's awesome. in power cord. Now I just need some of those uh, move controllers. Move, yeah, the move controllers. I didn't get it. Well, there's the pad. There's the cable for it. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, move whenever I bought it from my friend. He didn't have the uh, motion ones or whatever. Yeah. So I think they're on eBay for like. Oh, they're sixty bucks. Cool, man. This, Hey man, uh, I don't know nothing about them things at all. I don't have much to do about it. I know my great uncle in there, which he was a preacher, he had all kind of weird stuff in the room watches and all these good watches and yeah. AVs and all that. And I found an old laptop, looked like it was one of the first original laptops in there too, but it ended up messing up. I never did even mess with this. This is all in original container, so I figured it's probably worth a whole lot more. It's just been in there a while. It's been a while since I've seen one. I've seen them though. What's the battery tray look like? That's what I said by looking at it. Don't oh, like yeah. it's ever had batteries or anything. Oh yeah, it's super clean. He bought it as a gift for somebody and you? he never gave it to him. Yeah. And we had to go clean up all the property, get everything out of there, and I was like, got a man. Stuff, if, but then it cost I a wish, bunch of money to get rid of everything. I wish you had some games for it. I wish I did, but that's the only thing that I yeah. had. I looked in that whole house, and after we got so much out, then we had to pay for the bulldozers and all the kind of thing up everything else. We got one room, we went to here in Rattlesnakes, and we decided, okay. Yeah. I wasn't going no further. <laughs> no, I wouldn't blame you there. 60 bucks? Yeah. All right. There All right, you go, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I, I know you said you buy Xboxes. I don't know what we got Xboxes in the house. I'm not sure what's wrong with them. I'll ask my old wife about them and let you know. All right. That sounds great. Xbox. I forgot all about I got an Xbox with like 10 games. Just the games are just sitting there. <laughs> that sounds good, man. Yeah, all hit right. me up. Okay, YouTube, so it is Wednesday at about 10 minutes after three, and here in about 20 minutes, I'm meeting this guy locally at uh, Burger King. So he hits me up last night on Facebook, and he told me that he had a lot of stuff that he knew I was looking for. He had a whole bunch of systems and a whole bunch of games, but his prices were all over the place. He was wanting $50 per system, he was wanting $10 a piece for his Dreamcast games, $5 a piece for his original Xbox games, $10 a piece for his Super Nintendo games, and that was a fantastic deal, and you're gonna see why. And he was wanting $20 a piece for his N64 games, which was also a fantastic deal, and you will see why. So the next portion of this clip will be me meeting up with him at the Burger King and We'll, uh, we'll take a look at what I'm picking up. So you ready? Let's go. Okay, YouTube, so meeting up with the gentleman that hit me up on Facebook last night. And um, we've got a stack of games here.
Hello, folks. So, me and Mr. Charles agreed on 150 bucks, and uh, I'm going to be doing 100 cash, and then 50 we're going to exchange. I'm going to exchange still through PayPal. I don't want to cut my phone off to do PayPal, so there you go, folks. On to the next. Grab this. This is sports. You wouldn't have any, happen to have any more video games, would you? No, no sure, that's no, all we got. got. That's all we got. Change your mind, you got my number. Yeah, I do. Um, yep. We'll probably still be in town for at least a few more weeks. Okay. And so we're moving back to, to Florida. Get that closer to my school. There's 25. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it, man, very much. Thank you. Clothing for these youngins. Alright. You know, like I got them, they didn't, didn't bring nothing from home. But what they had on their back and on their feet. Yeah, I'll do five on it. You don't have any more? Or Spider Man? You can't, or you can't find that one of the enemies. What was it? Skyro? It was something. You don't know where that is? You got change for 20? What about just for the games? Because that's really what I'm after. I've got about two or three PlayStation 2s. Okay, I need to Did you do 20? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. There you are. Okay, YouTube, so it's been another crazy week of some awesome finds, some great things added to the collection, so let's just dive on into it. In no particular order, we'll start from the back. We've got this whole wall of nine 
Super Nintendo games in box, and three N64 games in box. Donkey Kong 64 is a duplicate for me. I currently have this listed for $49.99. If anybody is interested in a box, manual, and cartridge only uh, copy, please let me know. Uh, the extra one that I have is in really good condition. And um, so just send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, but added into the collection is Mario Kart 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Zelda A Link to the Past, Kirby's Avalanche, Donkey Kong Country 3 and 2, Bubsy, Mickey Mania, uh, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, Tetris 2, and Tetris Attack. Now, Tetris Attack, Tetris 2, uh, A Link to the Past, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, and Bubsy, I already had loose cartridge. So, completely new to the collection is Kirby's Avalanche, Mickey Mania, and Rabbit Rampage. Uh, I have sold off a few of the loose cartridges already to help recoup some of the money that I spent, but the guy was wanting $10 each for the Super Nintendo games and $20 each for the N64 games. A fantastic deal. I mean, I would have loved to have gotten them for a lot cheaper, maybe $5 each with the boxes, but I'm not complaining. I traded a guy... Um, an iPad Generation 2 and $60 cash for his PSVR. Did not have this. I'm finally so happy to, to have add one, added one to the collection for pretty much less than $100. Um, that iPad Generation 2 was just laying around. I was not using it. And so I was happy to let that go and $60 cash for the VR. Um, it did come with all the cables. And everything, I just did not, you know, have it out here uh, on display. But it came with a camera, and it also came with Doom VFR. So, been playing that a little bit, and uh, some demo games, and been watching some 3D Blu-rays, until I can find some more uh, VR games. Also picked up these two Capcom Essentials PS3 titles, I've never seen these before, and uh, as soon as I saw them, I was like, yes, I definitely got to, you know, grab those. Also, Jack and Dexter, the HD collection, I did not have that. However, I do have the Precursor Legacy uh, on PS2 and on PS4 through Limited Run Games, and I have Jack 2 on PS2 and on PS4 through Limited Run Games. I also picked up um, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2 and already sold that to recoup the money that I spent on this, on those four. Uh, but the pawn shop is liquidating their back stock and so some of their older titles that they've had in the shop for a while, uh, they're marking down half off. So I got these for $1.80 each. So fantastic. Also picked up some uh, NES games and some Wii titles. Three of these I did not have for the collection, which are the ones in the back. And then the ones in the front I already had, so I bundled those with a Wii that I, have, I currently have for sale. And uh, that'll just help recoup what I spent here a little bit. Um, these are all bundled games uh, as far as the NES. I've already got them. None added to the collection. So when I come across another Nintendo this year, I've got five more games to bundle with the system. Um, I was able to get the NES games and the Wii games for $25. bucks, little more than I wanted to spend. Um, but, you know, the, the guy was wanting $100 just for the games and the... Uh, Retron HD that he had and the Wii system and I was like yeah no I'm not paying that much picked up these uh, bundler PS2 games ATV Off-Road Fury 2 Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories uh, The Wrath of Cortex Driver 3 Grand Theft Auto Vice City Sonic Mega Collection Plus those I'll bundle with a PS2 later on in the year the two I'm adding to my collection though are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 
uh, Battle Nexus and Family Feud. Also picked up The Walking Dead Season 2 on PS4. I did not have that. I got that for 5 bucks. And the pawn shop had $20 on this 2DS. I asked them why they had a price so low because normally they have around 35 to 40 on it. And she said that it uh, was it was locked up, a uh, parental lock, and they could not get it off. I said, no problem. I called up Nintendo right there in um, inside the pawn shop, and I gave them the inquiry number off the 2DS, and within three minutes, I had it unlocked. As soon as I had it unlocked, I said, okay, I'll take it. So snatched that up for 20 bucks. Uh, with 10% off, it came out to just a little over $19. But the find and the pickup, definitely of the week, and the find for the year, and probably one of my best finds ever, is this right here. The TurboGrafx-16 Turbo Express in the box. It is missing the manual, um, but I can get the manual in the inserts off of eBay for like 30 bucks, $29.99. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. Fantastic condition. Looks like it's never been used. So I picked that up on Monday. Well, Monday night, I hit up Gamers Manuel. I was like, dude, look what I found. He was like, oh my gosh. He was like, does it work? I said, I don't know. I don't have any games. I said, I put some batteries in and turned it on and the screen lit up. I was like, but other than that, I'm not sure because it didn't come with any games. He's like, hey man, don't worry. I'll have a game for you in the mail tomorrow, which was Tuesday. So I'm going to cut the video here and we're going to take a look together on whether or not this Turbo Express actually works. Let's check it out. Okay, folks, so I just got a package in. It is Friday afternoon at around one o'clock. Um, and this comes from Gamers Manuel. I messaged him on, I believe it was Monday, showed him a pickup that I got. He asked me if I had any games for it. I told him no, and he said, don't worry, man, I got you. And uh, he said, I'll, I'll get it in the mail tomorrow. Hopefully it should be there before your Sunday episode. So we're opening it now. Have no clue what he sent um, as far as the game is concerned. But what we've got here is, all right, Keith Courage for the Turbo Graphics 16. I did not have any games for the Turbo Graphics, so that's fantastic. And I picked this up, the Turbo Graphics 16 Turbo Express. Uh, I've got some batteries in here, and now we're just going to slide the card in and see if this thing works. So. We're about to find out together. Well, let's see if I can... Okay, so the volume is super low. We're not getting any... any uh, anything on the screen here. And uh, But I can hear some volume. So it is working, it just, uh, it needs to be recapped. These things are notorious for having capacitors that just go out over time and uh, they start leaking. So it's best that I just have this completely recapped so that we can have a, uh, a functioning system here. Now I can see it barely, I don't know if you can pick up on that but it's barely showing up. Maybe it'll get brighter. Maybe those capacitors just need to warm up. I'm thinking that's what it, I'm thinking that's what uh, is needing to happen. There we go. All right, so the capacitors are warmed up and, um, but the volume is extremely low. So it does need to be uh, recapped but it is working. Um, let's see. I've never used this thing before, so... Let's see if we can get this thing working. 
There we go. And it's working. You see that? All right. Now, yeah, the volume is extremely low. I can barely hear it. So, but folks, we have a functioning Turbo Express. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Manny. Um, for those of you that have not subscribed to Gamers Manuel, I highly suggest you go over to uh, his YouTube channel. Check him out. Go ahead and give him a, uh, a subscribe. Hit his bell icon so you get notifications every time he uploads new content. He puts out videos every Sunday morning. And uh, Manny's great. He finds some awesome stuff up in the, uh, the Northeast area. But uh, yeah, let's finish off with a recap. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, he sent me Keith Courage. And I put it in the console, turned it on. And I didn't see anything. But after about a minute, 45 seconds to a minute, after those capacitors warmed up, we got an image on the screen. And there was volume, but it's extremely low. So this thing is going to have to be fully recapped. Uh, I was able to get in touch with a guy uh, in a Turbo Graphics group on Facebook. And he offered his services on uh, fully recapping and... Uh, doing a region unlock mod on it, installing a chip to where I can play PC Engine games on this as well. So I'm definitely going to look into that for uh, for getting this done. And um, but there you have it, folks. It's been a heck of a week. We found a whole bunch of box goodies. We got us a VR. We got us a couple of PS3 titles we didn't have. Some PS4, PS2, Wii. A 2DS and a freaking Turbo Graphics 16 Turbo Express. Manny, Gamers Manuel, thank you so much for hooking me up with a copy of Keith Courage. That was very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. And folks, if you've enjoyed the content, by all means, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell icon too so you get all notifications. I hope, you're, I hope you've had a fantastic week. I've had a great week. Once again, I'm Tata Collector and have a good one.